crisis in Flint, Michigan has people everywhere concerned about the lead contamination in their drinking water and for good reason. Tonight, I-Team investigator Adam Mulser shows us how a lead problem at a Pinellas County school is forcing teachers and students to now take extra precautions. They were getting bad taste. The water was like a, ye like a yellow color. It's disgusting. Parents and students at Tarpon Springs High School have been worrying lately. After learning water at the school was contaminated with high levels of lead. It is a big concern when you find lead, lead in the water. It changes a lot, to be honest. We're supposed to trust the water we're drinking here. This is an issue that obviously raises a red flag to a lot of parents. Pinellas County School spokesperson Lisa Wolf says discolored water was first noticed when students returned from Thanksgiving break. Testing was done and problems were found in two areas of the school which have older plumbing. One was above the EPA's recommendation for lead levels and the other was approaching that threshold. The district notified parents provided bottled water and installed more than $20,000 worth of water filters. Is the drinking water safe now? Two most recent tests have all come back normal or below the threshold level set by the EPA. But as an added precaution for anyone who's concerned, we are still providing bottles of waters to students and staff if they'd like them. Not concerned a lot after what happened in Flint. The city says it's not the same as Flint because the water source is not contaminated. A Tarpon Springs spokesperson said in a statement, a total of 58 samples within the city's water distribution system have been tested since November 2015. The results are that all the samples were below the action limit for lead. But the school district believes a new water treatment practice by the city may be partially to blame. When cities use reverse osmosis, that can, in older pipes, cause lead to leach out of the pipe. And that's what Tarpon Springs is doing. That's what they're using. A nationwide EPA database does not indicate that high lead levels have been detected at any other Florida public school. But schools in other parts of the country are dealing with lead in the water, including those in Los Angeles, Baltimore, and Newark. Testing water for lead in schools is not required anywhere. Are you going to be doing any proactive testing at other schools here in Pinellas County? It's just not common practice to test for water quality. But in light of the situation at Tarpon Springs High School, we want to be extremely proactive. And so we will identify certain schools who have a little bit of an older infrastructure in place where we can do some proactive testing. Early estimates put the cost of replacing the old plumbing at Tarpon Springs High alone at up to $650,000. Once the school board decides on a final solution, work will begin immediately in hopes that a permanent fix will be in place by the time students return after the summer break. Reporting from Tarpon Springs, I'm I-Team Investigator Adam Walser, taking action for you.